Hi there, Swift developer. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, time is matter. So, welcome to this tutorial. It's 12.44 p.m. right in the Paris time. So, we're gonna build, as you see, this beautiful analog clock with Swift UI. In this tutorial, you're gonna uh, learn how the basics of uh, Swift and Swift UI works. We're gonna take a look at path and uh, the shapes. And after that, we're going to take a look at the, some Swift UI basics. So let me just show you the showcase of this video and what we're going to build in at the end of this video. So if I check this one, we can uh, change it to a picker, for example. You can, yeah. yeah or if I had the time after this video, um, at the end, maybe I change it to a picker. In the change toggle, uh, change color toggle. So nice, it is a very nice and it is very easy to build this not another clock. So be with me, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share with your friends. So let's jump in to the coding. So here I have a blank project named another clock here. So let me just uh, change the device here. So here in the content view, we have some variables. First of all, we have add a state, private, war and this is a team color so it is a type of color equals to that red so after that we have the state private war current time it is a date and it equals to date dot no. so after that we have add a state again and private private war change random color and it is a boolean and it, it equals to false so here we have it so let me just go through it the team color is the initial team for our color this is a red uh, if we start the application this uh, green color will, uh, will be red and the current time it uh, uh, equals to the and time, current time, our uh, current time, yeah, the name is so obvious and change random color equals to false. So this is not so complicated. So after that, you have a private, but uh, at the state private, a variable of colors is type of color and the array of color. So here we have an init here. So we don't have any parameters. So here in the init, we have colors equals to, for example, dot red dot yellow dot black dot purple and dot mint and dot orange and dot blue so on and so forth you can add any color you like in this variable so after that we have uh, in our body we don't need this one so we have via stack and after the via stack we have another color uh, clock view so uh, we have to create analog clock view so we have a new swift ui so the name would be analog clock view yep right there so let me just make some space here good so <clears throat> let me see okay uh before our label body, we have type alias of analog clock callback equals to date and it return a void. So we have binding here. Yep, variable of foreground color, foreground color, type of color, and a state private war current value current time and this is date also and equals to date dot no. okay we have available on update on update time it is analog clock callback it is optional and it is equal to nil so you have a let border it equals to type of cg float cg float yep and equals to 20 so 
this border here, this green border here. So after that, we have a private let timer equals to timer. So timer, yep, dot publish every one second and dot main. Dot main, yep. Let me just uh, in dot com. So here we have it. And here we have the that's auto connect. So uh, this is our variables here. Just uh, let me just pass the foreground color here. Foreground color would be dot constant dot red. Okay, nice. So in our body, we have a shape. So we have a geometry. Let me just geometry, geometry reader. Yep. And in the geometry, we have geometry and so here we have to uh draw let me just show you draw this clock so we have a lit radius radius equals to geometry that size that width divided by two and let inner radius inner radius equals to radius minus border width so here we have center x let center x equals to geometry that size that's width divided by two and let center center y equals to geometry that size that height divided by two and we have a center point we have cg point and for the x we have center x and for the y we have center y yep like that and we have let components components equals to calendar calendar dot current and we have data components date components sorry about that and here we have dot hour and we have that minute and we have that second yep and for the date we have the current from current yep <coughs> and for the hour we have a variable let hour equals to double and we have components dot hour or equal to zero let minute equals to double components dot minute and uh, if not it is equal to zero and let second second equals to double like that components dot second and if not we have zero so here we have a circle and not foreground color would be foreground color so it is a red circle yep in the show this is this circle so after that, we have another circle. We have a circle here. So this is for the border and this is for the inner, uh, the clock dial. So foreground color would be that white and padding would be the border red. Would be border red, yep. So nice here. And after that, we have a path here for our clock. We have a path, and we have path in. So here we have four, four index in zero until 60. And here we have let radian equals to angle. And we have degrees here, double. And we have index. Multiply by 6 minus 19 and we have radius. So here we have let line height, line height, and this is double and equals to index in minor 5. If index in minor 5 equal to 0, then 25, as would be 10. So we have a let 
x1 equals to center x plus inner radius multiplied by cos radian So after that, we have a let y1 equals to center x, center y plus inner radius multiplied by sinus radian. Radian, yep. So after that, we have a let x2 equals to center x, and here we have plus inner radius minus line height multiplied by cosinus radian and let y2 equals to center y plus inner radius minus line height multiplied by sinus radian and your path dot move to dot edit and x would be x1 and y would be y1. So after that, we have path dot add line to dot edit. And for the x would be x2 and for the y would be y2. So you know, like that. And after that, for the path, we have dot stroke. And for the style, would be stroke style. And line rate would be one and line cap would be dot round. So nice. And after that we have foreground color. Foreground color. Yep. So here nice. Let me just see. So this is the uh Ticks. Let me just add something here. So this is uh, create border. This is for cock tile. This is for creating ticks. So after that, we have drawing second hand. Drawing second hand. So here we have path, and we have path in. So we have path, then move to center. After that, we have let, let height equals to inner radius minus 20. Yep. And here we have let radian equals to angle. And here we have degrees, and we have second multiplied by six minus nine ninety, and we have a radians. Good. And we have let x equals to center x plus height multiplied by cosinus radian. Radian. Yep. And we have let y equals to center y plus height multiplied by sinus radian also yep and we have path dot add line two and here we have cg point c point and we have x with the x and y with the y so after that you have a stroke and for the style you have stroke style and here we have line width would be one and line cap would be dot round and here foreground color would be foreground color yep here nice here we have the seconds okay after that is the same also for the minutes so we have here drawing minute hand minute hand yep here we have path we have path in we have path that move to center. So we have let 
height radius height equal to inner radius multiplied by 0 0.7 and we have net radian equals to angle and we have degrees here we have minute multiplied by 6 minus 90 that's radians so we have let x equals to center x plus height multiplied by cosinus radian then we have let y center y plus height multiplied by sinus radian yep nice we have path but add line to cg point x would be x and for the y would be y so here after that we have a stroke and we have a style stroke style so line width would be two and line cap would be round that's round yep so foreground color would be again foreground color here we have the minute also so here after that we have a the last path so we have going our hand so here we have path and we have path in and path that move to yeah you know center like the other two we have a let height would be inner radius multiplied by 0 0.45 and we have let radian equals to angle degrees would be hour multiplied by 6 minus 19 that radians so here we have let x equal to center x plus height multiplied by cosinus radian and for the degree would be center y plus height multiplied by sinus radian so after that we have path dot at line to cg point and for the x would be x and y would be y and here we have a stroke and in this stroke we have a stroke style and line width would be 5 and line cap would be that round so we have foreground color here foreground color and foreground color here we have another circle and this is what the frame width would be 10 and height would be 10 and foreground color would be foreground color and the position would be dot center yep and after that we have aspect ratio 1 and content mode dot fit and here we have yep on receive for the publisher we have timer here and here in the curly braces we have time in and we have current time equals to current time equals to time and again on update time equal and we pass the time here so nice i think cannot convert value to publisher auto connect and no data you let me just see the on update time Okay, this is with the date. Yep, it's just a matter of e. Okay, now nice. Our, our clock is working, so this is nice. We're gonna take take it to the contents view. So in the VS tag, we have analog, analog clock view, and for the foreground color, we have team color, and here we have date in so we have current time equals to date and if change random color 
then theme color would be colors not random element else would be theme color yep and here we have that shadow and the color would be that black and the opacity would be 0 0.15 and radius would be 22 32 and we have a padding of 60 so we have text here current time and style would be time that time just, yep nice and here we have the font we have that font and we have that system and the size would be 52 and it is that bold also and we have a toggle so is on would be change random color dollar change random color and for the uh perform text for the label we have change color here we use capital c yep and here we have padding but horizontal and would be 30 and the spacer here would be the main length 30 again and here that frame so max width would be that infinity and max height would be that infinity also and that background would be team color that opacity that would be 0 0.15 and this is it yep so just a matter that uh, we can uh, tell the CFUI with animation here that is I think is nice so let me just hit animation here yep so let me just hit the run button here and then we can see it right away so so about that Just see what is happening here. Why my device is, doesn't work? Just go right here and then run it again. It succeed. Okay. So here, boot up. Yep. So here we have it. So it is one twelve p.m. right at the price time. So if I change the color here so nice so so nice yep with animation we change every second uh, approximately so you can use gradients you can use all things you want so let me just add a gradient here so here we have gradient and the gradient we have colors yeah for example from blue um, we have uh, dot red here and then here after ingredients we have I think it's, it is okay or not no so probably a bit wrong you can do it uh, by yourself so uh, because the time is matter yeah in this tutorial so uh, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope uh, you use it in your project or your in your uh, uh, process to learn Swift. So, uh, thank you guys for watching till the end. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and sh share with share it with your friends and support me. 
I do my best to put a brand new tutorial every day for you guys. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for this. Uh, have a good day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.